Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Welcome to the second video on how to play Elden Ring. So you can see we've just started at Lim Grave. And if you press the map button, which is the two squares button, uh, you can see that there's not much visible right now. Okay, everything is pretty much hidden. All right, because you can actually pick up maps that will show you more of this but the whole map is on the internet anyway so there's not much to worry about now the cool thing is at any point in time you can go to one of these sites of grace and just fast travel to them so i can just press a right now and travel to that so i'm not going to do that right now because it's obviously right next to me but we're now going to try and show you how to get to the first mount right your mount is actually called Torrent. So I'm going to charge Lost Grace. So next time if I die, I can revive here or I can teleport here anytime. Grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Okay, so Golden Race will guide you. So you can follow the Golden Race, uh, which is currently there so you can follow that golden ray uh, use a map to check the current position i just talked about it but the golden ray where is it is it telling me to telling me to jump down here is it let's just uh go a bit safer because i don't really want to okay so here is another thing summoning pools i haven't been able to summon anyone yet but you're meant to be able to summon other players. Uh, small golden effigy. Okay. Summoning pool is functional, but I guess nobody is summoning anyone right now in this area. Acquire material. So you just basically walk around, acquire heaps of materials, follow the golden ray, and open up the map sometimes. Now, do not go up to these big things, because they're just going to kill you, okay? Just avoid these big, big guys. I won't even try to fight it right now. There's no point, because you're going to level up, you're going to get better equipment and all that before you take on the big guys. Okay, so I'm just going to run around to this uh, chapel type place. Okay, and this first guy, Church of Ella, is where I'm going to get the side of Grace again. Lost Grace discovered. And I'm going to um, talk to this guy to buy and sell items. Tarnish, and I can also that you're not. Then why not? I am Carly. Okay, so you can purchase now. The first thing I'll purchase here. Now, apart from purchasing the crafting kit, you also need a torch. Okay, and we will talk about all these cookbooks and all that with the crafting kit later on. But basically, um, they will help you make items, right? But without a torch, you can't go into dungeons, right? But right now, there's really nothing you need to buy right now. Uh, now, the runes at the top can be used for leveling up. So you can see where it says 595, that's how many runes you have. You get them from killing things. Now, can I level up yet? Uh, at the smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. So you can also uh, improve your weapon, improve the axe. But let's just see if I can level up yet. No, I can't even level up yet. So there's nothing you can do here right now. I'm not going to buy it. But just keep in mind, if you don't buy stuff, 
you could lose your runes if you die twice in a row. If you die once and you don't pick up your corpse, you don't go back to it to collect your runes, you can lose all your runes. So let's Wait. talk to this person. You well, I might just buy the torch. And I might just buy the crafting kit. Just in case if I die twice. And I can buy some throwing dagger. To equip. I'll show you how to throw it. Goodbye. Nice to... Okay, we'll talk about crafting later on. Okay, so containers, we need containers, pick up item, smithing stone. We can use a smithing table to enhance items. But uh, right now, I'm just going to go into my inventory and I will equip the throwing dagger. Okay, so actually go to equipment. Uh, let's see if I can equip the dagger. No, I equip the dagger here. Equip the throwing dagger. Okay, so if you press the down arrow, get to the dagger, you can shoot that. You can shoot it. How many times can I shoot it? I'm just gonna... I'll try it on an enemy so I don't totally waste it. Okay, but now let's go. You can see this golden ray where that's taking you. We're gonna go get our mount. Because without the mount, there's not much you can do. Okay, so if it's something that is just walking like that, there is a chance we could beat them. If we can't, you just have to run back to the... Um, Okay, so got him. Can I get something? No. I would have got some runes. Okay, so acquire all the materials. I'm gonna get the horse very soon. Actually, I should have died on purpose so you guys can know what you do after you die. Let's do that. Let's do that. So let's. Let's just, I'm going to run towards this, where I came from. Okay, so now I'll let the thing kill me, so you can see what happens after you die. Okay, so after you are dead, this is what you need to do. After you're dead, you are back at the last side of grace. And you can see that on the compass there's a thing pointing to where your corpse is you're gonna run to your corpse and recover your runes and this is the reason if you look in your inventory now you have zero runes held in the top right level seven zero runes held okay so you gotta go back to your corpse and recover your runes otherwise you lose all your money so i'm gonna avoid the enemy just in case i die again Actually, I know these are pretty easy to kill, so I'm just going to go back to it and give it a critical hit from the back. Alright, so these are the runes that I lost. So if I pick them up, you can see that I have money again. 183 runes. 
Alright. Now, if you die twice in a row without picking up your corpse, all those runes go away. So that's the penalty of dying. You lose your, you lose your runes. I'm going to throw the dagger so you can see um, <clears throat> how many... Okay, so I locked in. Let's throw it. Throw the dagger. Press X. That's it. One dagger. Okay, so that's what happens after you die. Acquire material. Okay, I'm just going to keep going until I get the... Uh, Kukri. Okay, I can throw them as well, I guess. Okay, so this is a very important spot. Very important spot where I'm going to get my mount. So I'll just show you where this is on the world map. Okay, so from your church, you keep going uh, north, slightly northeast, well, one o'clock direction, and you will get to this place where you get your horse. Okay, so you're going to touch this, touch your grace, lost grace discovered. Okay, just to show you again where the map is. So from the church, you go to the top right, go to the gate front, and there's the, there is the side of grace. Now you have to rest here. As you're resting here, Part of the story happens. So you meet this girl called Melina that you can summon every time you sit at a side of grace. And she can help you level up. So you just spend some runes to level up. I'm gonna skip it as usual. Have you heard of the finger maiden? They serve at you. I can play the turning rune to aid you in your need to the foot of Except then it's settled. Summon me by grace. Ah, I bequeath to you. Okay, so now you got two things. Use it to try it will summon a torrent. Treat him with Okay, you can now level up every time you sit down as a side of grace. Shall I turn your rune. Let my hand share them with me. Okay, Before and you can see that your ambition. You need 775 runes to level up, so you can't do it right now. So we can't do it right now. But what you can do is summon the uh, horse. Okay, so to summon the horse, I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to go to your menu and you can see where your pouch is, right? Go to the right. Uh, top right item, press Y to switch and choose the uh, whistle. Okay, so now next time if you press Y and press the right arrow, there it is, there's your horse. And you run super fast and you can jump or you can press the dodge button which speeds up for a second okay so that's how you that's how you get your mount all right thanks for watching guys see you next time
guitar. <laughs> 